First of all, I just gotta say, Happy New Year, y'all. I don't think I've ever been this excited to say those three words, but we are officially in 2021. I just feel like after that last year we had, we need a year of prosperity. So I'm just speaking that into 2021, y'all. But I got more than just a word for y'all today. So you know, as medical students, we not only have to study our class material, but we have to start building our knowledge in the specific specialty that we're interested in. And the way we do that is by reading and staying up with the literature. I've talked about how pre-med and med students can contribute to the literature by publishing their research. Well, we also have to learn from other people's research. And as pre-med and med students already becoming familiar with the literature in our field of interest, we're setting a foundation to build our career off of. And then we also become even better equipped to contribute to the literature with our own research. Well, I have found a tool designed with all of this in mind, a tool that has made organizing the papers you read easier than ever and actually help you retain what you read. Because if you like me, then half the stuff you'd be reading be gone by like a week or two. But guys, this is like legitimately like Anki for reading the literature. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is JR Smith. I'm a first year medical student at the Mayo Clinic and I make videos where I share tips, strategies, and tools for pre-med and medical students, as well as the occasional vlog. So if any of that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, if you know me or you've been following this channel for a while now, you know there is one thing that I will live and die by as a medical student. And just honestly, this is probably the most polarizing tool that medical students use. Say it with me. Anki. Now, as polarizing as feelings are towards Anki, the literature is pretty clear on the impact of space repetition on learning and memorization. Well, I found another tool that uses the same principles that's actually in sync with Anki that helps you learn and remember the research that you read in the literature. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, Polar, which makes sense because they may be as polarizing as Anki, but I absolutely love it. One of the primary characteristics of a great doctor is someone who stays up to date with the literature. Medicine continues to evolve at a crazy rate, which is good for our patients, but if we aren't up to date with all the advancements and the direction that medicine is going, it's our future patients who are robbed of all of these advancements. And for people like me who are just interested in research in general, you'll all the more love this tool. It's a tool where you can not only store and organize every article that you read, but you can make annotations easily retrieve the annotations you make, and even create flashcards that automatically sync to your Anki. I know, I know, y'all freaking out. I'm gonna show you, don't worry, I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is what Polar would look like. I'll just briefly walk you guys through. So over here on the left, you can see that you can just add documents directly to your Polar account. So if you already have PDFs or EPUB files, you can just automatically drop those in here and they're automatically upload into your Polar account. But what's really, really cool is that if I go to another tab, and let's say that I just go to PubMed, can't spell right. If we go to PubMed, and just for the sake of example, I'm just gonna find an article from a few of my research mentors. So let's say that I just wanted to upload this article, one of my research mentors wrote it, and I just wanna be able to really look at it, have it stored somewhere so I don't always have to come back to PubMed. I actually have this add-on up here where if I click it, it's a Polar add-on and it will save it directly to Polar. And so you can see that it automatically converts it into the type of file. It has everything that the article on PubMed has. It has all of it and it will save it directly to my Polar. And just like that, the whole article is saved to my Polar account. And if I actually go back to the original page, you now see that I have this article here. But again, since I opened it directly using this add-on, I can actually edit it here and it will again upload and automatically register um, all of the edits and annotations that I have on my account. So again, for the sake of uh, example, let me show you guys how amazing this annotation tool is. So if I'm reading through and I'm just reading through and I say, okay, O-N of the femoral head, it gives me some of this information. I just, I just wanna highlight this. If I just simply highlight it with my cursor, click the highlight button, you see over here on the right hand screen, it automatically creates a note. Now let's say that there was something else that I wanna highlight down here, oral corticosteroid use is a known risk factor for the disease. I can just highlight that. And again, it's gonna pop up here and I can search for my highlights. So as I go through this document and I'm highlighting things, if I wanna come back to it and just wanna search things related to ON, you can see it's gonna pull up the annotation related to ON. And now this, this guys, is when it gets special. So if I go over to this lightning bolt with the A, this is going to be creating a flashcard using AI. Now the service without the AI function is free, which is still absolutely incredible. And it just gives you all the reason to go and try it out. But if you do get the purchased version, you get this tool 
where it creates a flash card using artificial intelligence. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a flash card. And you can see that it's gonna, it's gonna just create a flash card. It says, how many new patients in the US suffer from Owen of the femoral head each year? 10,000 to 20,000, exactly what this is saying. Now, if that didn't just blow your mind, and I don't even know what else to tell you. Now I can scroll through and just as I'm reading this entire document, make my highlights and have the artificial intelligence make my flashcards for me. But even if you don't get the paid version with the AI flashcard tool, you can still create flashcards. And so you can see here, the lightning bolt without the A right here, I still can, I still can manually create a flashcard and it's nice because it'll make whatever is highlighted the back of the card and then you can kind of just figure it out and make your own flash card. It takes a lot longer and this artificial intelligence feature absolutely blows my mind. So I'm gonna be using that, but you can still actually create flash cards if you didn't want to um, invest in the paid version. Now again, this is just the page that opened up directly from me clicking the add-on, the, the polarized add-on from PubMed. But if I go back now to my homepage and again, I see it here, it actually is gonna track your progress. You can even create tags. So if I wanted to do, um, osteo necrosis. I can tag it. So now it's tagged. And if I'm ever looking for a specific article on osteo necrosis, I can just search the tag and this article will pop up. Now for my Ankiers out there, I have a special treat, but it requires that you get the desktop app. Now the way that I would use it is that I would use the internet and the add-on tool to add the articles as I see them. And you saw how easy that is. And since I primarily read my articles through PubMed, it just makes it easy like this. And then I could annotate directly on the internet, making my flashcards. And then I would transfer over to the app to have my flashcards sync to my Anki account. I'll show you. So this is now the app version. It looks exactly like the web version did. And you'll see up here, if I click these three dots, that I can start my Anki sync. Just like that, it's already synced to my Anki. And I'll show you guys what now my Anki looks like. So you can see here, this default, I can rename this later. It automatically will just input as default. But if I click it, you see that there's one new card. If I study now, you see that it's the exact card that I made from the article perfectly synced in my Anki, same question, perfect format. It's just perfect, guys. So I can test myself how many new patients in the US suffer from ON of the femoral head each year. Answer, 10,000 to 20,000, exactly what I read. All right, guys, I hope that you find Polar as incredible as I have, and because they're just absolutely dope, They've given me a discount for you guys using the discount code in the description box, Black Lives Matter. See, they're dope, right? But again, I hope you love this video and I hope you love the tool as much as I do. Being able to learn and retain the things that we read in the literature is crucial, guys. So this is an amazing tool and they're an amazing company. So please check them out. Again, whether you use that free version or the version with the artificial intelligence, it's a great tool. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and share if you found this video beneficial. And of course, until the next one, keep evolving and I'll see you guys soon.